Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, the pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. And this week, we are looking at Romans, the 12th chapter. This is probably one of my favorite texts in all of the scripture because of the power that it has in showing us how we should live as followers of Jesus Christ. Today, we are reading Romans 12, the first two verses. Hear now these words. I entreat you then, friends, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, for this is your rational worship. Do not conform to the fashion of this world, but be transformed by the complete change that has come over your minds, so that you may discern what God's will is all that is good, acceptable, and perfect. These two verses, they exemplify for us the core of what it means to be a Christian. And even though the Open English Bible Translation uses a slightly different phraseology, they say, I entreat you then, friends, by the mercies of God. In the New International Version, it says, therefore. And that therefore and the then in this verse, in the Open English Bible Translation, this is signifying a hinge. We've talked about the hinge before that Paul says, because of everything that I've just talked about, therefore, this is what happens next. And so here in the first two verses of Romans, because of everything that Paul has talked about in the first 11 chapters, he says, this then is what you do. You first of all, sacrifice yourself. To sacrifice myself doesn't mean that I kill myself. He says you need to be a living sacrifice. So what this really means is that I take my desires, my preferences, all the things that if I could have my way, I would get them and I make them last. And I put everything for others and what they need first. This is what it means to be a living sacrifice, is to put myself on the back burner and make my service to others in Jesus' name on the front burner. And as I do that, then God's desires and preferences become first in my life. That's how it becomes the living sacrifice that leads into the opportunity to have our very lives, our minds transformed. Now transformation means to be made new, to to be made into something that you aren't currently right now. And Paul is saying that there are two forces at work that are trying to get us to change. The one is God. He wants to transform us so that we can understand what God's good, perfect, and acceptable, pleasing will is. But there's also the world, and the world is trying to get us to conform. Now, confirmation is different than transformation. To be conformed into the world means that we are squeezed in to fit somebody else's that somebody else is the accuser, the Satan, the enemy of our souls. And he wants to conform us to his pattern so that we aren't able to experience the transformation and the freedom that comes in God. So my friends, for us, the challenge today, tomorrow, the rest of this week, and even the rest of our lives, is summed up by these two verses. Be a living sacrifice and be transformed and not conformed. And we'll look at what does that mean in our next daily devotion.